Hello there. How are you guys doing? I hope you're feeling well, and I hope that you are ready for this short, relaxing little reading. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you feel like stress and anxiety is taking over, then this is your chance to de-escalate diffuse the situation with me and the cards. I'm using the Marseille Tarot for today's reading in case you're interested. I'm going to give the cards a little bit of a shuffle and while I do, uh, let me tell you that New Year's readings are available on my website starting from now in the silver and gold pentacle tier. So if you're interested in getting a New Year's reading, please do check out my website amaliataro.com. You'll be able to find the details in the description about that. And the cards. Like that. And I'm going to take this brush and pick one card that is going to aid you in this process. I think it's over here somewhere. Probably. What do you think? I think we found it. Complicated energy. It has this chaotic and unpredictable side to it that makes it difficult to work with. This card is asking you. What are some of the things in your life right now that you feel chained to? Just like these two poor fellas right here, chained to the throne of the devil. We often find ourselves in situations where it feels as though there's no good solutions, there's no right way forward. And that's where the overwhelm comes from. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. These are, in psychological terms, often called double bind situations. So, what do we do about this? Well, first and foremost, it's important to identify situation in your life or multiple situations and influences that are holding you back at the moment. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time to meditate on that, to think about that. What are some of the things that are taking away your freedom? that are creating chaos and wreaking havoc on your life. The 
These could be habits, obligations that you do not spiritually align with. Could be the toxicity of a certain relationship or your relationships in general. Could be a way of thinking about yourself, a faulty sense of self-image. Be brave. Confront it. Just acknowledge it. You're doing really, really well. Just acknowledge the existence of these factors in your life. There's really nothing wrong in this moment. You're on your way to figuring this out. So don't worry about anything. Just allow the recognition, the realization to be born in your mind. As you meditate on this, as you think about this, I'm going to draw a second card. Now that we have identified the problem, It's really important to look for a cure. Let's see what comes up. This is petrified wood. Here's the solution. The Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is a wonderful, hopeful, dynamic energy. And it's reminding you it is always within your power to move. Two pentacles represent the binary basis of existence. Everything in physical reality and even in the digital spaces that we inhabit is built upon this polarization. Two participants, two particles, two pentacles dancing eternally, creating perhaps a sense of morality within us, good and bad, good and evil. Well, what does it mean for you to move when you hear the word movement? What does that make you think of? The 
does it fill you with dread? Does it fill you with hope? Where do you think the movement of your body comes from? Is everything predetermined? Is there no escaping the devil's prison? Or is there a way for you to wiggle your way out of your chains, out of your shackles. I would like you to focus your attention and your gaze on these two pentacles. and follow the movements that the brush makes around them. You might be noticing an infinity symbol forming around them. And as you're following along, you're feeling a deep sense of relaxation in the body. You're waking up, but you're relaxed completely. The muscles in your body rest and relax. Everything is continually in motion, but that does not have to exhaust and tire us. It happens by itself. It happens eternally. It happens without effort. The stress in your life comes from the desperate attempts to escape the prison that the devil imposes upon you. You might feel like you stand no chance against the big corporations, against the unforgiving nature of society might feel like you have no say in what happens to you. Free will might seem like a mirage, an illusion. Well, here's the Two of Pentacles simply asking you to notice how movement happens by itself. How movement is on your side. The movement of your stomach or your chest as you're breathing. The expansion of your lungs. As you're breathing in and out again, noticing this What is it that can save you? What is something that you can always count on? What is the thing that animates you? That moves you from within? Well, that's your spirit.
it's something that cannot be named, cannot be defined, cannot be easily pinpointed, parsed, explained. And it all comes down to this polarity this binary code of consciousness. You're waking up, but you're relaxing into it. And you're intuitively connecting with the idea that perhaps there's nothing that you as a person, as an individual, need to do in order to break the spell of the devil. It's quite possible that this is already happening for you. Your legs, your arms, your brain will do the work for you. Your hands will start to create, almost as if by themselves. Your eyes will start to see more clearly. Your ears will start to hear more clearly. And there will be more and more clarity in your day. How does this happen? How is this possible? Nobody knows. We might call it grace. Thank you for participating in this meditation with me. If you enjoyed it, Please like this video and subscribe. See you next time.